overview and you can see pretty much every day we've got rain icons there in some form, and form or another and it's going to stay mild of course. Back to you. Thomas, thank you very much. And that is it on BBC One now. We'll join our colleagues across the nations and regions for the news wherever you are. From all of us, a very good night. And now the news for the East Midlands. Good evening, I'm Simon Ward. Dozens of jobs, decades of dedication to charity work that's helped thousands of people around the world, all gone in a devastating blaze in Mansfield overnight. Firefighters were called to Savannah Rags yesterday afternoon. And from the scene, here's Emily Anderson. Huge plumes of smoke could be seen from the sky as flames engulfed the factory. Homes close to the site were evacuated, roads were closed. This dramatic footage was captured from a nearby bedroom window. Within an hour it got a lot closer and, yeah, really intense, quite frightening. The windows are scorched and even the paintwork on the inside are bubbled up, so you can imagine the heat that was coming through. But luckily the smoke was going the opposite direction. More than 100 firefighters from 16 crews tackled the flames through the night. Today, crews are still on site and structural engineers are assessing the damage. You can still see smoke in the air. We saw the flames and the smoke just above the houses, it was just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it in my life. The building is, is gone, so all you can see is the external walls. The roof area and all the internal and all the, all the um, materials inside is all, all burnt and gone. The site belongs to Savannah Rags, which recycles unwanted clothes and sends them to countries around the world. The owners didn't want to speak on camera today, but they have put a message on their Facebook page which confirms they're ceasing operations with immediate effect. Now, someone who worked closely with them here was the man who set up the National Police Aid Convoy here in Mansfield. The whole workforce, the way of life, the family history of, of that place that have been destroyed, it really is devastating for a lot of people. It's quite a bereavement. But it'll be a blow for Mansfield because it employs so many people so well. A joint police and fire investigation begins tomorrow. Emily Anderson, BBC East Midlands today, Mansfield. Next tonight, musicians from Derby have got Arts Council funding for a UK tour which will also promote good mental health. Matt McGuinness and the MLC play a show of original indie pop and have a new album out called We Are What We Overcome. People have the chance to have a chat after the gig and representatives of the Samaritans are also taking part. The tour starts on the 23rd of March at the Dada in Derby. We try and do it so it's just really relaxed, you know, that you do it in a way or in a place where people feel comfortable. You know, it's, it's a difficult subject to talk about for some people, isn't it? Um, but doing it in an environment where they feel more akin, like a gig or, or a record shop or a coffee shop, it just feels a bit easier to talk, and, and, and that's really important. A woman who's working at NASA says it was her former university's chancellor who inspired her to take up the role. Dr Maggie Adarin pocock who presents The Sky at Night, was appointed as the chancellor of the University of Leicester this month. Former student Naomi Rowe Gurney is now at the Goddard Space Flight Centre in Washington and says it was Dr Adarin Pocock's career that encouraged her to follow her dreams of working in space. I couldn't believe that a black woman was on uh, TV talking about like space science, the thing that I was um, really in love with. So um, it was really a, an inspiration to see her there. And then um, I got the chance to meet her as well in, um, uh, at Leicester when she was um, doing one of her episodes. Right, let's get the details on the East Midlands weather forecast now, and here's Natasha. Hello there. Well, after those lovely clear skies and sunny spells we've had through the day, we do have a bit of a change overnight. We've got this area of low pressure pushing in this weather front here, bringing some rain our way into tomorrow. But tonight, things are just going to stay pretty cloudy. The possibility of a couple of showers to the north, but otherwise it is going to stay with that cloud. Temperatures then down around 7 degrees Celsius. They're staying pretty mild, actually, for the time of year. Now, that cloud is going to be pretty variable for 
for you today. A few breaks in places and a few showers too, but otherwise it's staying quite dry. Temperatures up around 15 degrees Celsius, so staying again quite mild, but we are going to get some showers then as we go overnight into Tuesday. And although the temperatures remain quite consistent, we do have some more rain on the way and that breeze picking up as well through the week. And that's it from us for the moment. So we're back with more from the East Midlands in BBC Breakfast from 6.25. From all of us on the Sunday team, have a good night. You're not the only one finding things a bit tough right now. Sleep Well with Michael Mosley has been listened to over a million times on BBC Sounds. For cost of living tips and advice, go to bbc.co.uk. Well, it's been a month. Two more months of probation left. How do you feel it's going? Do you want to know how I think it's going? Not very well. At least try to act like police officers. So how was your day? Oh, you know. The usual. Blue Lights starts Monday the 27th of March on BBC One and iPlayer.